Hi, Will here for Sound on Sound at the AES convention in New York with Jason on the ESI booth. Jason, audio and MIDI interfaces, tell us what you got. Well, let's start with the M4U EX. Uh, this is what used to be a 4x4 interface, the next generation, uh, for MIDI. But what it actually is is an 8-port interface because it has an intelligent auto-detect feature so that any one of the ports can actually act as an in and out. So it can be either in or out for 4x4 if you want it to be, or it could be one in and uh, the remainder of the port's out. Any combination, actually. It also works as a standalone patch bay and features a USB MIDI hub, uh, excuse me, USB hub on the back. So it's USB 3 uh, MIDI interface with eight ports total that can be used in any configuration you like. It also can work as a standalone MIDI through or merge box. Okay. So it's a really flexible little interface. So how do you actually uh, change the, uh, the routing within the box? So there's a, bo there's a switch on the front to go through the most common routings. For example, say you've got a bunch of keyboards connected and you just want to be able to play them all from the keyboard, so that's one option. Or uh, two in and you know, uh, four out, or a couple different you know, basic mm -hmm. combinations. Right. And then, of course, you can, you can uh, route them however you want through the computer as well. Okay, great. So the, the bigger brother of that is what? It's basically the same thing, but it has a total of 16 ports. And what is, what's the name of this device? This would be the M8U EX. Yeah. Okay. So we suck, even though it's, it's not strictly eight in and out because they can use an eight configuration. Uh, historically, the previous versions, which were strictly eight by eight and four by four, that's why we stuck with that name. But in, in truth, it's, it's really like an M16 EX <laughs> or MU16 EX. Okay, so on the audio interface side, then, what do we have? So um, we have the U86 uh, XT, and uh, this device is very cool. It has MIDI in and out, so you have one port of MIDI in and out. It has SP diff, so digital I/O, and then you have a total of eight analog inputs and six analog outputs, and uh, two mic pre's on it. Okay, and what price point is that going to be at? Um, we're looking at about 399 US for that. Okay, so it's very competitively priced. Indeed, and uh, in terms of the, it's operating over USB. Yes. Is that USB, USB two? two? Okay, yeah. right. And uh, up to what sample rate will that operate? Uh, 96k. Okay. Yeah, so 24 bit 96. Okay, Jason, what's the last piece then? The U108 Pre. And uh, as the name implies, it has 10 analog uh, mic pre's and eight outputs. Balanced. But it's operating on the same principle as the smaller audio exactly. interface. It's a USB, and it's 24 bits, uh, 96. Uh, can you tell us about the mic pre's in them then? So the mic pre's actually um, kind of come back from their legacy high end Maxio series, and they're 50 dB of gain. Uh, very high quality. Okay, great. And how much will this one cost then? Um, we don't have a price point yet for this. Uh, I believe it'll be somewhere in the five ish range, probably. So just to recap then, the pricing of the different models. Right, so uh, when we're talking about the M4U um, EX, uh, that one is going to be probably around uh, 150, something like that. Okay. Uh, and then the other one will be somewhere around 250. That's with the 16 yeah. MIDI ports. Yeah. And then the smaller audio interface? Uh, smaller audio interface is going to be 399. Okay. Because um, uh, that one's got um, you know the digital I.O. as well. Of course. And then uh, for the one with mic pre's, we're probably looking at the to $500 range. Okay, brilliant. Thanks very much, Thank Jason. Very much. And it's all going to be available when? Uh, we're hoping to get these out uh, before the end of this year still. Brilliant. So okay. lots of stuff coming. Great. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks so much.